Today is the day for the friendly game between um, Nigeria Super Eagles and DR Congo in Belgium. But all is not yet well. Vincent Enyama and coach Sunday only said that story is still making the rounds. We're we'll, we'll still trying to understand what's going on. Vincent Enyama says he's yet to make a decision after speaking to the president of the Nigerian Football Federation, Mr. Amaju Pinnick. Well, let's hope this thing would definitely come to an end before the game tonight. And of course, the Golden Eaglets right now, they are in Argentina. And of course, their first friendly game they played yesterday, they won that one, two goals to one. All right, in uh, uh, the world of football still, they're talking about administration as it concerns the World Soccer Governing Body. Well, FIFA's Ethics Committee recommends suspension of Seb Blatter as the Swiss Attorney General opens criminal proceedings against him. Well, definitely we can tell you that uh, the suspension will be for 90 days while the investigations uh, uh, get carried out. So a whole lot of questions, a whole lot of issues are surrounding Seb Blatter and of course his uh, counterpart, the UEFA chief, Michel Platini. What will be the outcome of investigations for this Swiss man? Hmm. Hmm. Well, the story is that he's facing it. He's not being confirmed to do just wait for the ethics committee and all mm -hmm. that to come together and confirm, okay, if it's going to be suspended for 90 days or mm -hmm. not. I think what they're just trying to do, if the suspension go ahead, it's simply because the election is going to be in February and he's suspended for 90 days. So half of the time, he will not be there. And of course, the reforms that he's trying to actually implement in FIFA, he would definitely not be in charge trying to do that reforms. In all of this, I'm saying the, the door is now open for a Nigerian <laughs> to eventually become the president of FIFA. I keep saying this because to everyone who wonders what I'm saying. It's the audacity to dream. And, um, and you're free to dream yeah, and aspire. Now, since this, this opportunity is going can become the next FIFA president. Yeah, of course, because you need to look for someone who is really clean. Because if you look at the, the South Korean former FIFA vice president, who, who says he wants to contest also. I mean, some reports came up from FIFA that, hey, the man is going to be suspended because he was also involved in some shady deals, you know, ahead of the, 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 the World Cup they were also bidding for. So at the end of the day, it's like no one is free, apart from Prince Ali. I think that's the only Musa Ability also, who Kaf is actually not so back in any way. So you have Musa Ability and, of course, Prince Ali, only these two people that you can say, okay, right now, Right now, presently, they are clean. Mm. Mm. Interesting, interesting one. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just delighted that, you know, not really delighted because it's... Uh, <laughs> but, you know, when, I'm, when I say I'm delighted, it's because, you know, with the whole drama, I, I just want to see what is going to be the outcome, the eventual outcome of all of this. You know, of course, Austin talked about uh, perhaps uh, we will get to see a Nigerian, you know, becoming uh, the, the, the audacity to dream and all of that. But, you know, definitely when this is over, when all of this is over, FIFA will never be the same again. That's what it is. I can't that, wait for it to be over. <laughs> it's looking is... like FIFA will become better. Well, because we hope it becomes we better. Because now understand that the eyes of the world mm -hmm. is on the activities, mm. and everyone at the moment wants it for the good of football. Exactly. You know, whoever is coming in must come on the base of integrity mm -hmm. and Clean be ready hands. to keep fighting corruption out of international football. That's, that's the <laughs> word. We have to you get know, rid of everyone in you know, FIFA. Sports, football, politics, you know, corruption. But the good thing is that the games That's continue, <laughs> so it's really not affecting it. Just yesterday, you have qualifiers for the first round for the African uh, uh, countries that are that will be participating at the World Cup mm -hmm. 2018. So the game go on That's and the show as well, mm -hmm. Cecilia. But mm -hmm. It's important that people believe in the sports. I mean, football is a unifying factor. It can bring countries together. You don't want uh, corruption tied to it. You don't want all sort of dirty talks like we've seen in the past a few months coming out of FIFA, sponsors pulling out, you know. And sponsors telling the man in charge to step, to down. step down. Look at that. <laughs> it's it's really not good. Not, not really it's going good so bad for, no. for, for, yeah. for football. That's okay. the world we live in. Mm. Mm. Bring you into all of what we're doing this morning, wherever you're watching us, we invite you to be part of the fun. It's sports this morning on Channels TV here. Yeah, we do nothing but just talk sports. We even play some sports if we have the chance to. On Twitter, we're channels underscore sports. And on Facebook, we're channels at Facebook. You can also send us an email to sports this morning at channels tv.com. We'll continue with the hashtag Olise versus Enyama. We'll also talk about the Super Eagles. Yes, we'll be taking on DR Congo today in Belgium. And of course, we'll talk about the Rugby World Cup. Gloria 
Ofoigbo, we mentioned that yesterday on the show. The NFF president assured that the Nigerian Football Federation will support the Super Focus player. We'll talk more of Gloria Ofoigbo until she gets the support that she deserves. And of course, Blatter's resignation, FIFA, and all of these corruption talks and resignations and some being banned for life, and the politics that even involves Nigeria. And um, candidates are uh, hoping to become FIFA president. We'll talk about all of that this morning on the show. Come along on this ride with us. Guys, um, we, we, we can't ignore. Um, this is Yama and Coach Sunday only say. So much is coming out of that one. People don't know. We can only talk about what is in the media. Mm -hmm. But this morning on the show, let's go to Belgium. As we're being joined by Super Eagles goalkeeper Vincent Yama. If he's available, let's talk to him this morning. Hear yeah, from him as regards all that is happening right there in the Super Eagles camp. Good morning, Vincent, and thanks for joining us on Sports This Morning. Uh, we're having problems with the audio, but uh, if you can hear us, um, can you tell us what's really going on um, between you and Coach Sunday Olise? Okay, I think we're having a problem mm, with the we'll, connection. We'll have to, yeah, we'll have we'll to sort that out. We'll try and out. get Vincent we'll um, we'll to Yama back, back on the show. Mm. Uh, but guys, um, I spoke to Vincent um, last night. I spoke to him again this morning. Uh, he doesn't also like what's going on. But we're hoping that in the interest of our national team football, everybody comes into a um, settlement and let's keep winning with our football. That's yeah, definitely. That's what yes. is important because if you check, this is really not good. You know, playing out in front of the media and all that. We're thinking it's something they can just resolve. We spoke with Amaju uh, Pinnick yesterday, NFF president, mm. and of course he confirmed that, look, they resolved the whole issue. But this morning, there's different reports coming from people and all that. He's saying he's in happy, something he wasn't going to forget. I was going through his Instagram page yesterday mm. and what a ride there. I think he's really, really sad about the yeah. whole incident he's not happy with the whole thing but i just hope and pray you know before the game this evening let them just put everything down and know that it's all about mm. the national team and it's all about football and nothing personal at all if mm. they can put that aside and know that okay anyone can become a captain Whatever the coach wants, okay, he can do that, of course, and everyone should be respected. The coach should respect Vincent Yama. Of course, Vincent Yama, in his own will, should also respect, respect. the coach. And, of oh. course, the Federation also, who is actually ensuring that, okay, all these international friendlies are taking place, all of them should respect each other. If they do that, I think we won't be having these issues of a coach and a um, captain and all of them at lock her heads and all. It's not really telling well for mm. Nigerian football mm. at all. Mm. I totally agree with uh, Cecilia. You know, I, I can't add anything more to all, all what she said because uh, uh, at the end of the day, it's all about Nigeria, yeah. whether we like it or yeah. not. So <laughs> if whatever differences you have, please bear sort it out. Just sort it out. Get on with the game. Mm. You know, call yourselves in, in, in private. Have a word with each other. We don't want to know. Yeah. We don't want to know. Let's yeah. not Just be a part of, of Particularly all the now that we know we need to qualify for next year's exactly. Nations Cup. We don't want anybody to start saying you know, World Cup that uh, because of the issues in camp, so we want everybody We don't to want leave. excuses at this time. That's what Just is. do the job, mm. sort out your differences, and let's move on. And, Tony, and I'm also particular of the fact that it's, they keep calling it a rebuilding process. It's a rebuilding process. So if you know you don't want some players that, that cannot be part of this process, there's no point inviting them. Mm. You know, let's know we're rebuilding, if we're rebuilding properly. Mm -hmm. I'm not speaking for any player, but the coach has a final say. Exactly. Because everything rises and falls on leadership. Exactly. The coach can say what he wants. The coach says, hey, Vincent, you're no more my captain. Mm -hmm. Vincent, take it and move on in good faith. Vincent Yamas spoke that he likes Ahmed Musa. He's mm -hmm. a nice guy. They've played a couple of games together. But if a coach knows he cannot work with a player, don't invite that player unless we start saying, maybe he didn't drop the list. Maybe he did. Maybe he not. I think. I think. Maybe, well, I really didn't want to talk about this issue. But from the it's statement you just made, yes, really. exactly. From the statement you just made, I don't think Olise does he want to work with Vincent Yama. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. He feels okay when when he was uh, the first game. You know, when he was in charge, he wasn't there, so he feels okay. Uh, uh, Ahmed Musa was the one who captain. He was comfortable with his captaincy mm -hmm. at that particular time. So he felt, okay, let me just continue, mm -hmm. you know, with Ahmed Musa and exactly. all that. I believe that's what he decided to do. If he doesn't want, continuity. that's it. Yeah. So I, I don't think 
Yeah, we coach no one's in a particular player or anything. It, it has nothing to do with this. Mm. So we, we just keep it the way it is. And once we get to hear Vincent Yama's vision, and yeah. of course, hopefully, Sunday, Sunday also Lise gets well. to speak mm -hmm. with them. We heard from an NFF president yesterday said the whole issues have been resolved. We need to talk to Vincent Yama, of course, if he's able to also give us his own version of the story. We get to hear from Sunday, Lise, his own version of the story. We know the truth, everything behind this. Then it's trivial to rest. Mm. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. not, not, not good times. Well, let's focus on the game because. Of course, the show must go show on. Must go Nigeria on. will take on DR Congo today. Mm -hmm. We don't know if Vincent Ayama will be part we'll of be part that of one. It. I'll be so um, delighted if you know if it gets to. It's <laughs> a friendly. No, it's, 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 it's a friendly a game. It's a friendly, then, friendly you know, game. So you send out positive vibes from camp. Oh. It's a friendly game. You have the opportunity to use all your players, yeah. you know, at your disposal. So, so you're you not restricted they're, they're to just no, yeah, three no players. So yeah. I think, I think, I think, you know, he should be part. I think he should be part of it. But let's also I think the three goalkeepers, if Alan has arrived, also the three of them can also be part of it because just I mean they can do like. Test all the players. Test, test all the players. You also have the game against Cameroon. That mm -hmm. also is coming up. So two friendly games and the three keepers can maximize, definitely, they you know, can, yes, they the can the maximize that score. time. They can. Hopefully, hopefully we'll get, get Vincent, Vincent back, back on this show. <laughs> we need to hear his own side of the story.